My name is Evelyn Kim and for today's video we'll be going over Wylock's third grade math curriculum. Topics we'll be going to address in today's video include filling out equations, multiplication, addition, and word problems. Let's go over our first topic, filling out equations. Okay, number one, it gives us two equations that are actually related to each other. 14 minus 7 equals 7. 7 plus 7 equals 14. These two equations actually have some kind of relationship because it indicates how 7 plus 7 equals 14, but also 14 minus 7 equals 7. Therefore, based off the information we have above, what is 14 minus what equals 7? Well, if we look at this equation above, it says 14 minus 7 equals 7. Therefore, we could also assume that this equation, 14 minus 7, equals 7. Number two, five plus three equals eight. Eight minus three equals five. Like I said before, these two equations have a correlation. Five plus three equals add up to eight. Eight take, and you take away three equals five. Three plus what equals eight? They all have a relationship. And in order to figure out our last equation, we can do the same thing. We can subtract three from both sides to find our missing number. Eight minus three equals five. So our missing number is five. Three plus five equals eight. Like stated above, five plus three equals eight, and eight minus three equals five. Number three, six plus five equals 11, and we also have the equation 11 minus five equals six. Okay, in order to figure out our missing number here, 5 plus blank equals 11, what do we do? We can subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. And then we get our blank equals 6, because 11 minus 5 equals 6. So 5 plus 6 equals 11. Number 7, 21 plus 7 equals 28, and 7 plus 21 equals 28. And then we have the equation 28 minus 21. Based off the information, we know that 21 plus 7 equals 28. Therefore, if you subtract 28 minus 21, we should get 7. But let's double check. 8 minus 1 equals 7. 2 minus 2 equals 0. So our final answer is 7. 28 minus 21 equals 7. Number 8, 36 minus minus 30 equals 6. 30 plus 6 equals 36. Blank plus 30 equals 6. 36. Okay, from the information above, 30 plus 6 equals 36, and 36 minus 30 equals 6. In order to find our blank, we can either subtract 30 from both sides or use the equ two equ equations above. But let's subtract 30 from both sides to find our blank. Minus 30 minus 30. 30 minus 36 equals 6 minus 0, 6. 3 minus 3, 0. Our final answer is 6. 6 plus 30 equals 36. Okay, last problem. Number 9. 45 plus 4 equals 49. 4 plus 45 equals 49. These two equations are basically the same, but these two numbers are switched. Therefore, 49 minus what equals 45? We know that 49 minus 4 equals 5 because 45 plus 4 equals 49. But let's double check. 49 minus 45. 9 minus 5 equals 4. 4 minus 4 equals 0. So our blank should be 4. 49 minus 4 equals 45. The second topic is multiplication, and it's asking us to multiply the numbers below. Number one, five times six. This can also be referred as five groups of six. Let's draw it out. Let's draw it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's our first group. One, two, three, four, five, six. Second group. One, two, three, four, five, six. Third group. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fourth group, one, two, three, four, five, six. Our fifth group. We have five groups of six circles. Let's add it all together to find our final answer. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Five times six equals thirty because five groups of six adds up to thirty. 
Number two, we have four times ten. Let's draw it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Our first group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Our second group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Third group. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And our fourth group. Okay, now we have a total of four groups of ten circles. Let's add it all together to find our final answer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay. Four pl 10 plus 10 plus 10 equals 40. And 4 times 10 equals 40. So our final answer is 40. Number 11, 10 times 2. 10 times 2 can also refer to as 10 plus 10 because we are adding 10 two times. Let's add it up. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 1 equals 2. So our final answer is 20. 10 times 2 equals 20. Let's try 1 times 6. 1 times 6 can also be referred as 1 1 times 6 actually is much more simple than you think because any number multiplied 1 equals itself. It's also known as the identity equation. Therefore, 1 times 6 should equal 6. The topic is addition and it's asking us to add the numbers below. Number 1, 45 plus 23. Let's align the numbers vertically so it's easy for us to add 45 plus 23. 3 plus 5 equals 8. 4 plus 2 equals 6. Our final answer is 68. 30 plus 45. Let's align the numbers vertically. 30 plus 45. 5 plus 0 equals 5. 4 plus 3 equals 7. Our final answer is 75. 30 plus 45 equals 75. Number 11, 6 plus 120. Let's align the numbers vertically like the problems before, so it's easy for us to add 120 plus 6. I mean, there's no specific order, but it's easier and e to solve when you put the bigger number on top. 0 plus 6 equals 6. We bring down the 2 and we bring down the 1. Our final answer is 126. 6 plus 120 equals 126. Our last problem, number 12, 40 plus 210. Let's align the numbers vertically so it's easy for us to solve. 210 plus 40. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 4 plus 1 equals 5. We bring down the 2. Our final answer is 250. 40 plus 210 equals 250. The topic is word problems and it's asking us to solve the problems below. Number one, Sally has a total of 50 seashells to sell. She's able to sell 42 of the seashells to Sammy. How many seashells does Sally have left to sell? Okay, she had a total of 50 seashells, but she sold 42 to her friend Sammy. Let's subtract. We know that this is a subtraction problem because she gave away or sold 42 of her 50. And it's asking us how many seashells does she have left? That's our key word. It indicates that this is a subtraction problem. 50 minus 42. 0 minus 2. We can't do that. So we have to borrow from the tens place. 5 becomes a 4. Our 0 becomes a 10. 10 minus 2 equals 8. 4 minus 4 equals 0. Okay, Sally has eight shells left after giving 42 of her shells to Sammy. Number two, David has 15 pairs of red socks, four pairs of white socks, and two pairs of rainbow socks. David puts all of his socks in a cabinet and grabs a random pair of socks each morning. Which of the three colors is David most likely to choose every day? Okay, let's list the numbers from greatest to least numbers of of a certain colored sock. Okay, so we have our greatest number of socks, which is 15 pairs of red socks, and we have our four pairs of white socks, and then we have our two pairs of rainbow socks. This is from least 
to greatest. And it's asking which of the three colors is David most likely to choose every day? If you have a large amount of something, it's obviously like, let's say David puts all of these colored socks in a basket. He would have a higher percentage or higher ratio of him choosing a red sock than a white sock and a rainbow sock because he has more red socks. Therefore, our answer would be red. David would most likely choose red socks every day because he has more of it. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you have a wonderful day.